Inside a building of secrets... Welcome to ASIO. ...a tantalising glimpse into a clandestine overseas spy ring. Right now, there is a particular team in a particular foreign intelligence service with a particular focus on Australia. The ASIO boss revealing how operatives dubbed the A-Team successfully cultivated a former Member of Parliament several years ago. This politician sold out their country, party, former colleagues to advance the interests of a foreign regime. With attempted infiltration into the highest levels of government. At one point the former politician even proposed bringing a Prime Minister's family member into the spy's orbit. But when challenged to identify the unnamed culprit... Not going to name the individual. Uh, we're a rule-of-law country. Instead, Mike Burgess noted that tougher foreign interference laws had been passed since this episode. Personally, I don't think they'll be stupid enough to repeat what they've done in the past. The intelligence chief says his decision to publicly call out the A-team is part of a real-world, real-time disruption, letting the foreign spies know that their activities here have been uncovered. But his decision to not identify the former politician is generating a furious guessing game inside this building, as well as demands for more information. The former politician who sold out this country could be in this building right now. Why won't you name the traitor now? It's a matter for the Director General of ASIO if, if he was to choose uh, to name that. I've said I have a fair idea and I'm being careful about what I say publicly because of that. There absolutely would be benefit though in ensuring that not all former politicians uh, carry some sort of smear or smirch upon them. Let's not get offended because we're talking about national security matters. It is clearly in the national interest for this to be the subject of national discussion. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. It's been a great pleasure. A very public discussion of work that's usually hidden in the shadows. Andrew Green, ABC News, Canberra.